Hi everyone, I'm Tim. This is my channel 40 Times Around and today we're going to talk about my Moto Vlog setup. Uh, this is how, this is specifically how I'm getting the audio when I record from my helmet camera. I've been getting a lot of questions about this so I've been meaning to do this for a while and I'm finally getting around to it. Unfortunately, it's starting to rain so this is going to be a pretty quick video. I'm just going to talk about what you need and how you go about doing it. Now, first thing I want to say is that this only applies this system will only work if you have a GoPro 5, 6, or 7. Uh, it won't work with anything else. So if you don't have one of those cameras, this video probably isn't going to do you much good. Okay, real quick. Uh, first thing you're going to need is a GoPro. This is the GoPro 7 Black. Uh, if you don't have one of these, you could have the 6, the 5, any series of those, it should work. Uh, that's the first thing you're going to need. The second thing you're going to need, and this is all assuming, of course, that you have a motorcycle and you have a helmet. Uh, the second thing you're going to need is this annoying little thing right here, this little dongle. This is the GoPro mic adapter. Super annoying little apparatus, but you absolutely need one of these if you want to record audio from an external microphone on a GoPro 5, 6, or 7. It's super annoying. I hate it. And I think everybody hates it, and nobody's happy about it, but GoPro just won't fix this situation, which just does not make any sense to me. Anyways, these things are going for about 50 bucks, which is a real kick in the gut, but you don't have a choice. If you want to use a GoPro and you want to moto vlog with it, this is what you need. Now, you can get them on Amazon usually. Uh, they were, for some reason, out of stock everywhere for a while. I think that's back to normal. I think they're available. I mean, it was kind of ridiculous because people on eBay were selling them for a hundred bucks, which, if it's not on Amazon for some reason, go directly to GoPro's website. They'll send you one, 50 bucks. They're not going to overcharge you. Well, it's already overcharging, but they're not going to overcharge you beyond that. Anyways, second thing you need. Third thing you're going to need is a lavalier mic. Now, uh, I got recommended by a friend of mine, D-Mail, who's on YouTube. Uh, he actually made a comment a while ago about my audio quality on my Moto Vlogs and emailed me and said, hey, you know, I want to help you get, get this audio better. Uh, he did. He, he got me the stuff I needed to, to upgrade my audio and huge shout out to D-Mail. This was a while ago, so... Uh, I've been meaning to do this video for quite some time. Anyways, he also recommended that I check out Chase on Two Wheels has a uh, really helpful video on his Moto Vlog setup. This is pretty much identical to his. Uh, and he recommended the Purple Panda Lavalier mic. And I've been using it and I'm super, super happy with it. Uh, so I'll leave a link to that down in the description box down below so you can find the exact one that I'm using. Now, that's the stuff you're going to need. Um, also, I'll just show you my setup real quick. On the helmet, I have GoPro mount right here, and that is held on there with Sugru. Uh, Sugru is like a Play-Doh kind of thing. Um, sorry about the fireworks in the background. If you can hear that, it's 4th of July and I'm trying to bulk film because I'm getting ready to do the Idaho BDR and I won't be able to get much work done. Uh, <laughs> so, Sugru holds this on. Make sure you peel the sticky back off of the, the mount. Roll the Sugru up into a ball and then push this down on it and it hardens, it sticks to anything. It's amazing. Uh, then I got just a little mount set up. Depends on where you want to position it. Um, and some people recommend that you change this out with a different um, housing for the GoPro. This is the one that comes with the GoPro and it's been working fine for me. Now you will notice there's a little door right here, a little opening. That is for your USB-C. So you're going to have to pull this door off. I'll show you how to do that. You're going to open this door. Uh, this little thing slides. Slide it down. Just hold on to it and just pull. Comes right off. Push that out. Line that up. Push it in. That's it. Doors back on. This plugs into the GoPro like that. And then right here, 
you plug in your lavalier mic, your purple panda lavalier mic, uh, and then however you want to mount it and configure it and tape it to the helmet. I originally had it much nicer than this. Now I just have some tape on the side of my helmet. Um, this is actually a, a second one. Um, basically that's the setup I got. And then I just put some tape over it. Uh, the lavalier mic is running through the back of the padding and it is right up in here. So that is the purple panda mic. Now originally, some of you guys that watch my videos know that one of my first moto vlogs on my indefinite travels, uh, the camera was mounted down here and I had it all nice and neat and beautiful, but I never, uh, I never checked to make sure that the angle was going to work before I left because I was just craziness getting ready to leave on my big trip. So I had to move this mid trip uh, with what I had with me and that's why I got this crappy tape here, but you really can barely see it. Um, but that's where the dongle is. Uh, something to remember when you remove this door, it is no longer waterproof. So if it's raining, like it's starting to do now, uh, be aware of that. Moisture will get in here and it will screw with your GoPro. Now, as far as settings on the GoPro, I do 1080p because I film a lot and 4K is just, it would take up way too much space. Uh, I'd be carrying around way too many hard drives for that. Uh, so I use 1080p. I upload to YouTube at 1080p uh, and I think the quality is perfectly sufficient for YouTube. And I also film at 24 frames per second from this camera. Uh, I think that gives you the most realistic motion blur, uh, makes it feel a little more immersive. With my B-roll camera, sometimes I'll shoot in 60 frames a second because I might want to slow that down a little bit. But main camera, 24 frames a second. Now also in the settings, you need to go to, you're going to swipe down, go to preferences, now this will have to be plugged in for this to work. Scroll down to input, output. Hit that, audio input. Click the options and audio input. You have standard mic, standard mic plus, powered mic, powered mic plus, line in. You're gonna wanna do standard mic. If you do standard mic plus, uh, it adds 20 decibels to the recording and it will peak the audio because of the wind noise and, and the fact that the microphone is like right here. Standard mic, not standard mic plus, or you'll get cracking, it'll, it'll distort the audio. Um, took me a while to figure that one out. So, standard mic. That's it as far as settings go in the camera. Uh, also, if you're using a B-roll camera and you wanna sync the two up, sometimes you've seen in my Moto Vlogs, I have one facing me, one facing out, uh, and I'm kind of talking, and you'll notice that the two cameras are perfectly synced with each other. That's done in post-production. That's not like a, I don't have them hooked up via Bluetooth. Basically what I'll do is I'll hit record, hit record, uh, beep the horn on the bike, and that causes a little spike in the audio, uh, the, what you can see, the audio um, track. So I line those two up, and the two video clips are perfectly in line. Now, that reminds me one more very important thing. You have to turn the GoPro on before you start recording for it to pick up the microphone. Uh, you can't do quick record. It won't, it won't pick up that there's a microphone attached to it. It'll just record from the GoPro mic and it'll sound like <laughs> Anyways. Yep, that's it. Uh, that's, my, that's my Moto Vlog setup. Pretty simple, pretty quick video. Uh, I've been getting this question a lot, so I just wanted to answer it. Yeah, that's it. Hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. That way you don't miss anything whenever I post something new. Thanks for watching, and ride safe. See you in the next video.